So, David, you, you talk about the problem of computerization in the NHS, although, and many people, I think, would think one of two things, which I don't think you mean. I think they would either think it was the problem of the NHS's failure to even develop a coherent mm. computer mm. system, or our failure to take advantage of the many benefits of computerization we take for granted on our normal private lives. Could you say a little bit about why you think computerization actually has been a different kind of problem for the NHS? The problem with computers in medical practice, particularly in general practice, and I would say psychiatry as well, is that computers are not good at dealing with the uncertain and the ambiguous and the currently evolving. In other words, we don't yet know what something is, and it is going to take maybe several contacts for us to understand it better. Computers want quick, clear, coded answers to be able to put onto their templates. And very often in medical practice, one thing is actually about another thing. And the computer insists that there is only one entry, for example, for a diagnosis. Well, what then do we do with the woman, for example, who fears infidelity on the part of her partner, um, but cannot talk about it because it's too painful, um, who comes in with problems of um, giddiness or a strange feeling in her head, for example. Increasingly, with the use of computers, doctors feel they have to give a one-line summary or, or, or even a one-word coded problem. And that leads to a certain kind of simplistic response the more that we use computers. In other words, our thinking and our language and our behaviour becomes increasingly um, dominated by the technology that we're using.